I had one goal for this month, and that was to create some basic enemies using the GOAT framework. And I can confidently say that I kind of did that. So I wanted to create a moving AI that shoots the player if it sees them, but I was lazy, so I didn't do that, and instead I was like, I want to create a turret. And so I whipped up a silly little model in Blender and slapped it on the AI that I had already created. But then I was like, I want the barrel and the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, um, the rotating turret structure to rotate on separate axes. In other words, one degree of freedom, two degrees of freedom. But that required me to get a goddamn PhD in quaternions. But then I forgot that parent-child relationships exist, so I didn't really need that PhD. But then I experienced Gimbal Lock, so I did need that PhD. Thank you, DM Gregory on Stack Exchange. Your solution helped my smooth brain get a PhD in Quaternions. But anyways, this is the result. And then, I wanted to create a sample level, so I worked on that for about an hour, and never touched it again. So finally, I went back to Blender, and started to learn how to 3D model. So yeah, there have been a few detours. But before I get into my Blender journey, I want to quickly show off the rest of the changes for this month. An item spawner. Camera tilt. Weapon sway. This work in progress turret thing? The thing is, working on one system to the next can get pretty dry and boring at times. So it's nice to break that pattern by learning something new. When I created that first turret, I was like, hey, that's pretty fun. Since creating that turret, I've been trying to create at least one model every day with emphasis on constructing good topology. All the models in the video have been created in the past few weeks. I've tried to learn 3D modeling a few times in the past, but I've never fully committed to it. So what I've decided to do is to try and give an actual attempt at learning it alongside programming the systems for my game. I've also been learning how to paint textures, so now I can finally put my drawing tablet to use instead of a... Not only is it fun and refreshing, but when the time comes that I need to create 3D models, I'll already have a nice foundation to work with. So yeah, in terms of updates, that's pretty much it. As for the next month, I'm going on a two week vacation, but I still plan to get a devlog out. I'm going to continue work on the AI and the 3D modeling, and I hope to have a little bit more to show off compared to this devlog. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.